Hello and welcome to another episode of Never A Straight Answer, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host Gaz and joined in the studio as always, the tinker, the tailor, the soldier, the spy. Oh, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Taylor. Yeah, thank you very That's much. more like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah welcome. You get my position away now, thanks. Oh no, yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to have to shoot me. Welcome, yeah. welcome oh. to the show, everyone. Welcome, um, one and all. Yeah, welcome, everyone. Uh, like I say, this is uh, the Never a Straight Answer podcast. It is. Hey, Indeed. it's been an interesting week. I've not been feeling too great again. I was like, you know, actually saying that, it's been a while since I've had a bit of flu. Yeah. So yeah, to be fair, um, and yeah, not done too bad actually. I've got over it quite quick. But at the beginning of the week, I was feeling a bit, a bit, a bit rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then rolled it out till Friday. Yeah, power through. Powered through. Right through there. And, um, yeah, do you know what it is? I think it's you start... Like, I've been doing a lot of uh, mooching around. Yeah. Yeah, and I know people do a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. But tiring, and you're doing long days yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then when you stop, it just kind of hits you, doesn't it? Yeah. So, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, so I think that's basically what's happened, but... Yeah, you've yeah. over you've overextended yourself over, a bit. Uh, over, you've overextended yourself. Yeah. Uh, overdone it a yeah. bit. You, yeah. You've, you've done more than you should do. Yeah, Your I think that's what you. it is. You're getting older, you mate. You need to chill out. Um, yeah. yeah, but what have you been up to? Me? Well, as you know, uh, yesterday I moved. I know, he wrote me in to move in, yeah. helping him move. You and Silent J, uh, helping along, nice one, I know, it's my pleasure, mate. Honestly, like I said, it won't offer yeah. it, if I wasn't prepared to put the put the man I was in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a bit Didn't of go a, quite to plan, no, it did was it, a, really? it was a comedy, comedy moment, so, yeah. to be honest. It was like, um, do you know what? It reminded me of um, when my little sister was born. Yeah. Um, it was on um, Comic Relief Night, which is, if you don't know, it's a UK charity event, a, 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 like yeah. an annual fundraiser that they do broadcasted on the TV. Yeah. I'm sure they've got similar things in the States. Yeah, yeah. Um, but everyone's encouraged to do wacky, silly things. Yeah. And um, so, like, you'll find that paramedics and stuff dress up like... Yeah, in, like... In costumes or whatever. Doctors and doctors, like yeah. nurses. It's, it's, like, it's funny. It's a fun day where yeah. everybody gets to have a bit of fun just Getting to a, kind of raise a bit of money for chari- children for children in need and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, my, my little sister was born on, on that somebody? day. Yeah. Um, and basically, the... Ambulance turned up to pick up my mum, and then the ambulance broke down. So oh, like it was like shit. fucking people dressed up like in all sorts of costumes pushing yeah. an ambulance, oh, you man. know, trying to bump start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, like it just reminded me of one of those sort of situations because like we were literally loaded this van up yesterday yeah. to move him. Yeah, yeah. and um, the the, <laughs> the removals van. Bless him. Got literally. Stop. How how far did they get up the street? Uh, about uh, about couple, fifty feet. About fifty feet yeah. from his house, yeah. right? Flat tire. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was. But it, the the wagon was leaning. It was pretty funny. He fucked up the front of his as well. Yeah, and then he's trying to get off the curb with a flat, yeah. and then the whole bumper just crumbled. Yeah, and I was kid. just like, oh my god! I he hope ended that up van's going not on the rented. curb and then going across a little bit of grass to get to my yard uh, so we can fill it and then reverse it out. And it, it has been raining for a bit. It's funny. It was, for some it was, reason, it was funny, but it was tragic the top, at the same time yeah. because I'm at the back of my mind. I'm thinking this is going to put a bit of dent in the time yeah. scale of doing things here. Well, to it was be planned fair. for one o'clock to be finished. Yeah. Uh, everything was set, everything was planned, and it ended up being what about seven? Ah, oh, well, the glorious guys from the AA <laughs> arrived, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and 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 fixed fixed the pl- the problem. So all good. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It was well, fun. he was around the corner for about an hour. So doing yeah. Someone else. So we're recording a little bit later than normally. Yeah. In terms of normally we record. Yeah. Um, and but we we felt last night that we needed to. Um, yeah, put, we were put it off well, a few hours. To yeah. be fair. But yeah. it's pretty good though because I went and had a look into a bit more of the research, looking yeah. forward for tonight's topic, yeah. um, and found out a few more extra bits. So good, yeah, all good, good. That's so information what we that you wouldn't have had if we would have just recorded it last night. Yeah, so. information is key, mate. Hey, so we've got a lot to get through. We are. Um, but tonight's topic, we're going to be talking about um, Memworth Hill, oh, which yeah. is the RAF Memworth Hill, um, yeah. which is a listening post. 
or listening base, yeah, or spy base, if you like, yeah, um, situated just outside of Harrogate. Yeah. In the Yorkshire Dales. It's and it's, you know down what, the road right, I've been me. past it. I used to go past it a lot. And yeah. I'd be like, what is that? It's you just these big golf balls, yeah. straight shaped structures. Uh, they look a bit like the Epcot Centre. Yeah. 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 Or the Epcots had babies. Yeah. Loads of them. Yeah. Right? Dropped them there. And there's about 30 that litter the countryside and yeah. they're, they're basically radar or... Yeah. Well, yeah. You can't miss like, them, man. The, the, the crazy, crazy big I saw the big hernia, man. And yeah, um, <laughs> oh, man, big, big eggs or golf. <laughs> people call them golf balls. Yeah, right? but we used to go drive past it, and I'd be what like, "What is one? that?" And yeah. you'd say, "Oh, it's just a, a, a base." Yeah, and you'd be like, "Right, okay. it's not there." Yeah. Oh well, that's, <laughs> some people would say, "Yeah, it doesn't exist." Yeah, but so anyway, it's always intrigued me. Yeah. Tonight we're going to go over exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, which you'd be quite surprised yeah. to be honest. Um, it's got a bit of a, a bit of a history. And oh, um, it? yeah, and it's and it's been in the news a bit over the last say five ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna look into it. We'll tell you a bit a bit about it, and yeah. we'll go forward from that. We will. Um, anything you want to talk about before we go into the news? Uh, so, so you know, not news stories, but just anything. Yeah, you just want anything to talk general. About? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've been. I I had two questions. I I, I questioned myself with. Well, you. Kind of fastly answered one of them the other day. Go on. Yesterday, when I turned around and said, "Okay, just imagine if there was no money, and no sex, what would you do?" But you wouldn't exist. Exactly. You you come up with that, and it was like, "Bang!" You stumped me straight off. Uh, like, you know what? I didn't even think of that. You know? Yeah. Because it's like, bam. Yeah, we wouldn't exist. All was, right, they were banned. But from you today. could. You could go. It, yeah. So the argument I presented was, well, you, we wouldn't exist because you need to procreate to yeah. exist, and therefore you've banned sex. Yeah. If, but sex was banned today, then no yeah. more future generations will be produced. Well, or yeah. whatever. I mean, if it was depending on when it was introduced. Well, have you seen about that? But, the oldest woman in China who gave birth. No. Well, the oldest woman in China gave birth to two children. She's just gave birth to a third one. She's been fine now. For for what? For three, three children. Oh yeah, because yeah, they're, they're only allowed to. to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So what, what happens in that situation? You just get a fine. Yeah. Uh, well. So yeah. suppose if you're rich, you can afford the fine and uh, extend your family as much as you want. Yeah. True. But, but then uh, the, there's going to have to be some way of stopping that as much like the fine for a rich what well, let's say like 10 percent of your, your yearly earnings bang yeah they ain't going to do that because then they're going to give like millions away you know yeah, what i mean true. why are you going to do that kids cost a fortune again, tax write off or something you know, <laughs> yeah well. they have some kind of scheme around it you, we, we, we've been looking into like a bit of tax write off yeah. for upcoming episodes so, yeah yeah so it's just yeah Miller. Um, a legal part, man. Yeah, well, yeah, it's interesting. It is. Yeah, um, I think that in terms of how you, I, I, I think being a, you know, being told how many kids you can have. Yeah. And if, obviously, China has got a big sort of population issue. Well, so you know, they need to kind of police it. But like, Jesus. I, well, I found out um, that uh, in in the UN, there's a big discussion at the minute of um, taxes to solve, you know, climate change. And one of the taxes is a baby tax. Well, yeah, because obviously, well, babies, yeah. are, what was it? Was it Doug Stanhope who does this bit about babies being the worst it, um, sort of drain on the economy yeah. than anything? He says, you know, you know, it's a person that occupy, occupies space. They don't contribute to the economy. Yeah. They yeah. just, it, they literally eat and sleep. Yeah. yeah. Take up all eat, the best sleep, car shit. parking spaces. Yeah. Right. The the you know he, he basically <laughs> yeah. the way he puts it well, across. It's not them; it's the parents. No, you know, but they, they privilege. But, no, what they're saying is what Doug Stanhope was saying was um, you know that you know they should be if you talk about immigration, they should put the border on the womb. Oh, <laughs> Do you know shit. what I mean? Yeah, so, but then we won't be here. Well, there you go. Yeah, Let's go sweet, full circle. Yeah, right yeah. back to that. I mean, oh, then, that's that would it. take sex away. What about no money and no trading? Because that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I don't agree well. with that. That's what I'm getting at. It's like you know, the fact is that um, you know people sh- should have that free will to be able to do what they want. And you know, if that means yeah. that I've, I have a family of you know 50 what? kids, you hit the nail on it's the like, head. They turn around when when you always hear the same thing. It's like, how many kids do you want? I want a football team. Yeah, you know but what I mean. You hit the nail on the head because it it it. it it's it proves how much power money has over everything. How you cannot do, do nothing without money, realistically. 
unless you you know you're cleverly minded and like uh, uh, strong willed. Yeah, you know what I mean. And 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 it's the power of like it's it's sort of it's not the actual government that's running everything. It shows that the actual banks do because they're the ones who give the money away or make the money or make the actual deals of the economy. Yeah, that's it. You know it? what I mean? Well, well. So there yeah, you yeah yeah you wait yeah, 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 what I, I was I was trying to get to. <sighs> well. I, you know, thinking logically, just think about. Oh, yeah, well, you know. this is it. Right, well, no. I think we should push on anyway because we've got a bit to get to through. But I just first of all want yeah. to acknowledge we've got on a couple of stories that are related, but we'll go into them in the news. But yeah. um, today um, is like Veterans Day, I suppose, yeah. um, Remembrance Day. Yeah. Um, so I just want to. Well, technically it's tomorrow, but today is because it's always uh, yeah, been yeah, on yeah, the Sunday. Yeah, it's always been on the Sunday, hasn't yeah. it? So, you know, um, but yeah, just want to kind of show our respects. Yeah. Um, and nod our hat to the yeah. brave, the brave yeah. soldiers and Slate men and women to all them who, um, who do that job. Who, who you know, obviously the laid their hand. lives and, um, no. you know, fought for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Big never a straight answer. Fucking shout out, shout out to, to you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, going on um, with the news. Yeah. It's the news. Yeah, so talking about the news, though, right? I saw a really good story in the news talking about um, Remembrance Day. Yeah. And um, there was this old chap, and I couldn't find the story going to try I knew I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But um, this old chap, mate, it was like, he he fought Second World War. Yeah. um, You know... The veterans now, they're getting, it's getting to the point where we, we, there's now, there's not very many of them left, yeah. you know, and it's like it's important for them to get their stories across. Yeah. And, and even keep the stories going when they've got... Even the most smallest part they played, you know, was... Yeah. Um, you mean, uh, this Every guy, I think counts. he was in the Royal Artillery, but, like, you know, um, I mean, it doesn't matter what they did, you know, in terms of the role they played or worked in catering or, you know... Um, yeah, everyone you know, was Fucking worked in munitions or... Yeah fucking the storage whatever yeah or even on the front line you yeah. know they all helped to to kind of you know win or yeah. win the war Pushes or whatever or win, you know and um but this old guy he's um was going to catch his train yeah get on the euro star to france yeah and um where was he going to france i think he goes every year do you know oh, right. like yeah, they yeah, have yeah. the big yeah, they do. Yeah. They do have a big thing yeah, over there, uh, don't they? You, yeah. So he's he's gone over. Yeah, because in fact, I was talking to a cabbie the other day. Yeah, when I was um, on one of my many adventures. Yeah. And um, this taxi driver was saying that he, him, and his, a lot of his old fellas go down. Do you know a lot of his mates yeah. from like um, he was in the services? Yeah. So he says he wasn't even part of this regiment, but like he's basically been a few times and he's ended up becoming good mates with a lot of them. Hey, yeah. And you know because he it's served. Been, uh, uh, it's like he goes down just you know show his respect and stuff but yeah. like um this old guy he's gone down to the train station they've been making a big like fuss and like a big like celebration yeah. sort of thing banners and stuff like that and as he's come into the train station he's realized it's for him like and at first yeah, he was man. like you know I thought it was for someone else it's like I'm not important I'm just a guy who just happened to get sent yeah and, you know had to do a job and it was it was really nice. It was touching because obviously the guy didn't expect anything. Yeah. And he was just going to mark his you know respect. Respect to these. And you know you've got to, you've yeah. got to think these old older guys. They, you know it's like they mustn't feel like they've got much long left. And not and, yeah. You know it's and not only like, that the past that they've it could they've, be the last time. You know things they've seen that yeah, they've had to course. still live with. You know what I mean? And not like. We're lucky enough to not see these uh, tragedies, most of us. Yeah, well, it's been a couple of generations now that haven't yeah. had to deal with this sort of conflict to the extent that these guys did. And it's like, you know, in in terms of strong generations, yeah. we, you know, these guys were the, the real yeah, deal. Yeah, these it guys like were the these, stone. And of, men and women, yeah. yeah. They were the real deal and it was, they, yeah. were, they were, they knew exactly what needed to be done. Yeah, um, home and, and abroad, man. They knew what needed to be sacrificed. Yeah, in order to. Um, well, it was our future. They was uh, they they sacrificed they their for, half, yeah, like exactly. having their fun for us in the in the long run. Yeah, and their lives. Didn't you say you um, was reading a story about? Yeah, I was looking. Well, I was looking on Twitter and I saw this. I thought it was brilliant. Actually, I was. I saw this um, tweet where uh, there was an old man out. Um, 
with you know people around him. Yeah. Um, in a wheelchair, and he was struggling to try and stand up um, to to stand up to uh, salute um, uh, the memorial. Yeah. Um, and it, it was just brilliant the way that the people were helping him up, and then he actually stood there on his own, saluting to them. And I thought, you know what, that is a brilliant sight. Testimony, that's what, yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, Even it's to like this the, day, the, they, they can't stand up, they still stand up. Stand up for his, for for his yeah, fellow soldiers. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Oh, and well, they weren't then. just for their fellow soldiers, for the people that actually, like you said, at home, who were making the munitions or making the planes or, you know, uh, putting out the fires and, you know... Yeah, the, the pure they, inspirational people, yeah, man. Yeah, Not like, I mean, I... I I don't know why I, I, I say it as much because I think this generation is more uh, um, weak-minded than uh, the uh, past generation. Well, this is what I was saying. Was I was, we had a conversation weaker, you know I mean? yesterday, I think, where we were talking about letting, do you know, like the new generation. Is, yeah. The new generation comes in way too fast. And yeah. Like, yeah. The older generation needs time to kind of like, you know, Say, say, not in just terms of, like, age generations, but in terms of, like, um, jobs. Yeah, so say, yeah. like, the Prime Minister. Yeah, right? yeah. So the Prime Minister or a party get him. Yeah. Right? And they get four years to, to do what they're doing. Five now. Right? Is it five yeah. now? Right? So they get a period of time. Yeah. Right? So, you know, but policies change and times change and things people go you're not progressive fast. enough yet yeah so like i was saying about certain things in the 70s were acceptable to talk yeah. about or not talk about and things were sensitive to talk about and yeah, not yeah. talk about and then as you know the decades have gone by yeah. certain things are now totally accepted yeah, yeah. like and it's rightly so yeah, you know, yeah in a yeah. lot of ways you know but when it comes down to um what am i getting at it's like so these the newer generations are coming in saying, "Well, you you're not for, you're not thinking in the you know the twenty second century, twenty whatever century." Yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. you need to change your game. But these old chaps are like, no, because they're from a different time. Do you yeah, know where this stuff was socially acceptable. Yeah. So it's like that's why the younger guys get in a lot. Yeah, because I propose the question of um, how come um, the older generation. Uh, if that makes not, sense, <laughs> you know what I mean? The older generation are not the ones at the top, you know, um, we learn by, you know, because they've been through more stuff they've than we have. They've been through more stuff, but then it's so like they, they're not being well, like listened said to because they're not seen as, um, you know, the relics. Of, yeah. They're not, the, they don't think the, the way. Well, with that, policies changing, I mean, the people, it should go, the people make them change the policies and they have to abide by the policies. If they don't abide by the policies, they're out on their ass. Yeah, but that's what I'm but, saying. It's like you could pretend to, you could abide by a policy and not believe in it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. And totally. then still have sort of underlying sort of negativity towards yeah, it. Yeah, totally. That's why people get caught out left, right and centre and rightly so as well. Mm. Well, I've got another story here about inspirational people. Oh, yeah. So uh, four African-American women known as the hidden, oh, yeah. the hidden figures. Yeah who worked for NASA during the space race, are being awarded the Congressional Gold Medals. Well deserved. Um, well deserved. The highest civilian award um, in the US. Yeah. Well um, so these girls, basically, they were... Um, so President Trump has basically signed off um, on, you know, the award yeah. for him. Um, Good man, man. So they were basically hired um, as sort of engineers, I suppose, um, during the space race to do yeah. all the sort of manual tracking. Yeah. yeah, even before, so I suppose, the run-up. Yeah, um, they worked their, their hineys off for... So they worked for, um, for the um, Langley Research Centre in Virginia. Um, they were basically so-called human computers yeah. who oh, did all the complex yeah. calculations and made space travel possible. Yeah. Um, they played a pivotal role in World War II's aircraft testing um, of subson- um, subsonic flight research Yeah. and um, basically sending the Voyager probe into space as well. So you know they've been they were instrumental in all this and hardly ever got any recognition. Yeah. Um. And you know it's fucking amazing that you know they're being um awarded this way. So yeah. Congratulations. Oh, and well deserved at a well good timing as well because uh, one of the voyages I think it was Voyager two has left the um uh, the um what do you call it the 
outer ring of the outer uh, ring. power of the sun. Oh, right, so okay. it hasn't got any uh, anything. Oh, right. So it's yeah. been just basically it's gone can't... that far out. Yes. And it's actually, there's a, a, a new question coming out now because it looks like the universe isn't what we were expecting. It never is. No, mm. exactly. We, we just know what's around us. A little bit. Again, that's what I always say is we only can see it's, it's um, observable space. Yeah. So yeah. we can only see what we can observe. So therefore, we we, we don't know. We can't see our nose past the fucking, yeah, uh, yeah the woods yeah. through the trees, if yeah, you yeah, like. It's yeah. One, yeah, well, there's another one because, um, uh, you know, with the galaxy, you know where all the stars uh, yeah, are I and know, all that. I you know can't the galaxy. see behind it. So we don't even actually know what's behind it. No, it's it. true, it's true. Yeah. You can't see around the back at you can't look you can't the same way you can't observe yeah. your ass, you can't observe the back ass yeah, of the yeah, galaxy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. did you know that And that age old question then the Mr. Galaxy is gonna always go to the lady galaxy, does does my backside look big in this galaxy? Of course it does. And he's gonna always go, looks no, big. Dear. it does it. <laughs> Hilarious. It looks always looks big. But did you know that um when the dinosaurs were around they were on the opposite side of the galaxy to us now. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's what about what what three hundred uh, three hundred million years, something like that. So only only, around, only a couple yeah, of yeah, only a couple. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not that far around. Anything you want to talk about? Um, Don't leave me hanging. Yeah, I do. I want to talk talking about uh, uh, the armed forces and uh, power struggles and stuff. Yeah. Um, have you seen what President Trump's done in Syria? Nope. Well, uh, apparently he's taken uh, the taken a bit oil of fields, a bit of that. which is, uh, it, they were going to use to um, build up Syria again. 90% of the economy yeah. uh, through the oil fields. He's, he's taken stolen over. it. Yeah. Oh, but what? This may, this this is, isn't this going to cause some shit? Yeah. And the reason why it's going to cause this uh, shit is because now it tells the rest of the world... I thought as, he was your mate. <laughs> Ring him up and hey, sort it out. Tell him. Hey, he might have a longer-term plan here. Right. Yeah, but normally the, this is the problem with America. I mean, I'm no, no offence to America, but, like, it, it's the it's their politicians that are doing it. Yeah. Because it seems like whenever... Yeah, any really sort of like, let's go, let's go off to. No, I'm not talking. Forget what 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 you're saying that he's not a politician. Oh, well, not not really. It doesn't matter. It's beside yeah. the point, right? But whenever any of the government's um, sort of plans to go into another country are involved, there always seems to be oil fields that need. Season. Oh yeah. Oh so yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a big amount as well. Like, we'll take that. Yeah. Yep, democracy. But, yeah, so basically they're taking it over. So there's still American soldiers in in uh, Syria, but they're just uh, <laughs> at the top end, uh, keeping an eye on the oil fields. And they basically turned around and said, right, we're looking at selling this to like BP or Shell or whoever. Did they owe him a lot gonna... of money? Yeah. So so with the yeah, taking they it as, a lot of money. They, yeah. Are they taking it as a, like honest, a payment it. for season like for for like bailiff? The bailiff to come well, in and said, right. For non-payment, we're taking your oil fields. If if it's something like that, right? Well, this comes around in a circle because now it tells China they can go into any country and go bang. We're taking that. They've hit Africa a lot. They've got a lot of money in Africa. They could turn around now and say, "We're taking that." And there's uh, and the Amer- America can't basically turn around and go, "No, you can't. No, no, mine. Well, you've just it's done mine. It, so I'm doing it." But the thing is. Uh, it's looking like the economy of uh, uh, the world is going into a um, recession. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, the American banks are starting to make more money, so that gives an indication that they reckon the recession is going to be soon, uh, and they're trying to uh, slow it down or stop it. Yeah. Um, now, who paid? Who helped America the last time the recession happened? I don't know. China, three point five trillion. So, um, if they're having these wars uh, verbally about trade and that, and now they're taking over land, if you went bankrupt, you haven't got a, a rich uncle now to turn around and go, uh, you couldn't oh, borrow yeah, this, that, no one's got any money. Well, no. Well, no. This, is, this is all Technically, leading, all the... all leading now to um, non-paper currency. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, digital, yeah, yeah, digital yeah. currency. Yeah, yeah. Um, forcing. Well, yeah, because I think that it's come to, coming to the point where you're going to have to, you know, it, it's... 
gold it's, it's silver. All, no, it's all yeah. just a number on a screen. It, it, can't, it is. Yeah. It always has been. It's like if you want a mortgage, all they're going to do is go into a room, type in uh, 50 grand or whatever for a mortgage and get oh, you a yeah, sign yeah. it, but it's not actually in the system. The money hasn't the actually money been just, given yeah, to Yeah, the you. money's not a real physical thing. And they get thing. interest on yeah. it. It's like and a, it's like, a fraud. You, what, you're giving me 50 grand, right? Okay. Right, go and get it then. Yeah. And it's like, no, no, we'll we'll conjure that money yeah. up. It doesn't really exist. Yeah. There's a whole fucking yeah, web I of things we can and talk about of on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, I posted a vi- that video we were talking about on um, David Icke. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. On the website, if you want to go and check that out. Um, or the bra- uh, the the Great British Mortgage Swindle. Uh, a movie just come out. Movie documentary just come out. Oh, see, uh, see if this I can year. find something on it. Yeah. And stick it up as well. I watched it. It's, it's good and it does tell you. It does give you some. Keep watching the website as well yeah. because obviously we, we when we talk about stuff, um, yeah, if it's relevant, we'll up. put it up as well. Yeah. Um, have you seen this story actually? What? Do you know um, the Black Knight satellite? Oh yeah. Right. So yeah. I don't know if you've not heard of it. The Black Knight satellite. Um, it's supposedly um, an alien observatory. Yeah. Um, or satellite that's orbited our planet. Tesla spotted it for thirteen thousand years. Yeah. Or so, um, so it's basically um, it could be a big piece of space junk, but um, many nah. many have said that um, it's basically a satellite or an pictures? alien nah. ship. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and it's you know it's it's, left our orbit it's as well. Been sat there spinning around the earth just observing us for, yeah but forever. it went to jupiter uh, oh did it uh, yeah it went it, on a it, bit it, of a it did go to out jupiter. it did go out and it come back in it well, did go it out first, so there's it some was first spot uh, spotted in the 1950s yeah um and it caused a major media um interest around it yeah um becoming one of the most talked about space objects around our planet yeah when it was first discovered it was um caused quite a buzz in the news and the US and Soviet Union um, shown particular interest in this object. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And since its discovery, the satellite has basically um, interested countries such as Sweden um, and enthusiasts worldwide. And they should be. So um, they've even had kind of like um, ham radio testing on it, you know, like to see if they can get a s- signal. Yeah, yeah, but stuff. it's got lights as well. Well, according right. to the Time magazine, um, three week, a couple of weeks ago, headlines announced that the US um, decide basically decided the mystery dark satellite yeah um was um overhead in a regular orbit and then basically satellite surveillance um by russia yeah um and it had brought uneasy sort of, what an uneasy sensation that the us did not know and um, what was going on overhead yeah and then the department of defense proudly announced that the satellite had been identified right um it was detect it was a space um derelict the remains of an air force um discovered a, a discovery satellite that had gone astray right yeah well this is the space war thing isn't it now so what they so what they're saying that they put that up there in the 50s no they can't they, they, they can't have Sputnik was the first one that the uh, first satellite that they sent around the Earth. Before that, it was spotted. It's been spotted for like you said, like thirteen hundred years or something. But I me- I do remember Tesla was one of them who spotted it, and there was a uh, th- there was a little controversy about it. So I don't know if that I kind of uh, that made sense um, to people when I read. That. I think it's just an it's been a well, Russian so satellite. And they've just shot it down and gone like boom because this is the problem what's co- coming with China, they and and Russia that the, there is equipment up there now that could interrupt our um, viewing or our information. All you know right, I mean? well, it's, a lot of speculating that it wasn't and it was the Black Knight satellite that was shot down. No, I don't believe it. So I don't believe you, it'd be that to, easy. Do you think it'd be the first time that they'd try it? No, not at all. Exactly. I think it was Secure Team that leaked it first, so... Um, I'll have to look at that. So, Secure Team leaked clip of an alien satellite being shot down on the fir- on the 19th of the 3rd, t- what, um, 2017. Right. Okay. Um, and so, it was given a lot of attention, so... Right. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I would. I just thought that, you know, when I read, the, read this story, yeah. that... It made me think that it was a cover up, and the the, the government yeah, were trying easy, to man. say that it was something else. It's always like something like, "Oh yeah, it was just a weather balloon, or a sat, just a little satellite, or yeah. something." But 
Well, that was like this, the story the other week when, um, what was it, over uh, Peru, I think it was, where uh, a meteorite come, a, come apart in the seven pieces, landed. People went to the spot and all there was was a, a scorched earth, nothing else there. Well, the fucking... It can't, it can't, it, and now there's some the more, unless the thing got up and fucking walked off, there should have been something there. Right. Yeah, well, the footage from the Secure Team 10 um, YouTube channel shows um, a burning white light moving slowly across the sky. So um, basically, people are saying that it was um, the Black Knight that, that was shot down. So I don't know. Give your opinions on Twitter yeah. or whatever. Um, give us a shout. See what you think. Just don't I don't believe know. it. I'm not so, sure, to be honest. Too easy. It's too easy. You think there's a co- it's, it's a cover up? Yeah, I think it's uh, a Russian or Chinese satellite that's been shot. Okay, down. you heard it here first. Yeah. Russian or Chinese? Oh, so it's, you think it's not the Black Knight that's been shot no. down? It was. No. It, it's what they say because that's what they're saying. Yeah, but come on, you seen the pictures? You look at how what the size you heard it here like. first. Taylor, Taylor agrees with the with the um, the the what's it? The um, press brief. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, yep. don't, I just don't believe it, man. Nah, the, uh, I think, I think to... based on the pictures of Black Knight satellite, um, it looks a bit too big. Yeah. To be, yeah. to be shot down in that respect. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a bloody mothership. Yeah. If you ask well, me. Th- well, this is it. Ah, well, this is it. Anything else you want to cover? <laughs> I've got a fair few stories to get through, to be honest. So, all same, mate. Well, I've got two big stories. You can either pick one, Ooh. Epstein, or yeah. the end of YouTube. End of YouTube. End of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your Epstein. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. End of YouTube. Right. Because I've because I've heard this a couple of times about the the end the death of YouTube or the end of, end of YouTube. Well, they're doing another apocalypse. Copa. 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 The gunner ban you. Yeah, and basically they're doing it obviously for the kids. Doing it for the kids. Yeah. I thought, thought the fact that they released the kids YouTube channels, you know, to kind of direct kids to the you the, the you know the family kid friendly side. Well, yeah, but was, then you still get access well, on YouTube. You know, I mean, you're an internet based platform. Yeah, I mean, they've been operating how many years now? Ten years plus, fifteen yeah. years. Yeah. So you know, the. They've, they didn't think about that in the beginning. They've well, not thought about that the whole time they've been operating. So they've got to think about how it's going to affect. I think it's from the F- S- uh, FSA that F- they've. They, uh, it's like um, an organisation who gives you the rules you have to follow. By. FCC. Yeah, it could be the FCC. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the, the thing about that is, it, they're giving them all these kind of guidelines. Yeah. But it's people like YouTube because of the freedom it offers. The fact that well, you, can, what I mean. you get a lot of choice of content that's made, um, you know, by creators and stuff. And then it's, if, you, if you're going down the road where you're trying to say, we want everything to be of a high quality professional standard. Yeah. And um, we want everything to be family friendly where everybody, you know, everybody can watch it. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But when it's... Now what you're doing is you're saying only people with um, high video quality making abilities... Or on, earn us money. Who can earn us money. Yeah. Who have um, influence um, sort of this stature and able to kind of... Um, if you, They've already done it now where they say, oh, you can't monetize your videos yeah. unless you've got a fa- 100,000... For the first time ever. ...listeners or whatever. But for the first time ever, they're going for the, re- uh, they're going for the actual creators. That, well, they've, they've been going for the creators because... Yeah, but not as hard as what they're going like for now. At the beginning, you could set up a YouTube channel and then you could you could essentially start earning money from day dot, right? By monetizing your videos. Yeah. Now they've made it so you need to have... You've got to establish your, your YouTube channel We're and basically do it stuff. for free, yeah, for a period of time until you can build up your, your subscribers yeah. and all the rest of it. Yeah. So... You know, they're already kind of putting people in a position where if, you know, they've got to work for it. Yeah. And fair, oh, yeah. fair nothing, nothing's free and everything should, you know, if it's worthwhile, you'll well, do it. Well, they're making it harder. But they're definitely making it harder. Yeah. We've got about 52 days until so, it starts. So what, so what does that include? What are they What are they going in for now? Basically, they're, they're going for the creators, basically sh- uh, shut down all the small ones that talk like the subjects we do. Ooh, so we might get closed down on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, watch this space if we do. Well, obviously, we're a podcast. Go to our YouTube. So it's just uh, go a to case our channel. That, you know, yeah. we, we will still be yeah, we'll doing be still what doing we're doing. It. 
Yeah. But like, um, don't worry. Well, no. Uh, if we'll you just don't go on tick, to a different platform. There's a certain box, and if you don't tick it, you can be fined forty two thousand for it. That's why I was saying though, it's it's not fair that you know for not ticking a box. It's I to remember do with when the like, creators Amazon and do the it. people who pay you to do it. Amazon do a thing where you, when you order, um, mm. you'll it'll go. Do you want to do Amazon Prime? And like you'll yeah. go, oh no! But sometimes you say you don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. You might tick. A, you, f- you just see free delivery. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? If you've never used game. Amazon before or whatever. And um, never used it. Never well, will. you you might fall into this category then, yeah. But like, what it does is, um, it, it, you'll go, oh yeah, I'll do free delivery yeah. on Amazon Prime, sweet. And then, so you'll tick that box, but yeah. then it doesn't say it'll take seventy nine ninety nine out of your account, right? And you'll be like, what the fuck? Plastic. Where's this seventy qu- eighty quid gone? Yeah. So you'll be like, Amazon Prime. So I think if end up spending Spec. fucking. Couple of hours ringing them up, then yeah. going. Theft um, and earning money off it. Can you fucking put me money back in my account because you know I didn't want this. Yeah, and it's like you're not giving the option to kind of take it on a monthly basis. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. You're just basically saying annual payment seventy nine ninety nine. Take it out. Hell no. Yeah. So you know this but what I mean. If you don't know what you're pressing, if you don't, the, the thing is with the internet, it's like it wasn't so long ago where like banks were putting out adverts for. Um, internet learning yeah, for, yeah, for yeah, senior yeah, yeah. citizens and now. stuff, old yeah, people. Yeah. They yeah. go because obviously there's there's a great large yeah. portion of their clientele who don't know how to use computers. Yeah. So you know, but then it's it's a bit of a kind of a dodgy situation, a dodgy time to live in because these, these this whole group of people who are suckered in by fucking con artists, con artists, like artists and um, people government. not understanding not reading terms and conditions yeah. um clicking things they don't they don't really know Understand, what they're doing yeah, yeah. and reaction. then and then you're falling into these things Traps. where yeah, you've yeah, shit yeah, yeah, 80 yeah, yeah. quid's gone out of my bank yeah. account or worse oh yeah and it's like they don't know what to do they don't know who where to turn so by not clicking something when you're uploading a youtube video yeah yeah uh, you can essentially get be fined if you don't follow the, those um, ga- their guidelines. Yeah, yeah, all totally. Saying, yeah, yeah, all yeah, totally. Motherfuckers. They're, yeah, they're uh, they're they're a nightmare at uh, this. I understand that there's got to be some sort of quality control. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, it's the but fact the thing that I it's... like, I think, I think the thing me, most people like about YouTube is the fact that it is so free, and yeah. you know uh, anyone can put a video up. Yeah. And but it's. They say, say about these algorithms that, you know, you you won't get the shit. Yeah. But it's like, I do, I get bombarded with the same shit now. It's like, I don't, there's not as much variety. It just seems like it's always the same, very nicely polished YouTube videos. Yeah. But, but they need to earn off you. But that's their they didn't business. start like that, is the point. Yeah, you know but I mean? that's that was the trick. That was the trick. I'll give it for free, but then you'll get used to it. You'll love it. It's like a crack, and then, a yeah, crack basically, dealer. Basically, yeah. That's that's that that's that's basically what Get they're the doing. Get the first taste for free. Yeah. But people you know, people fall into the trap because we're built that way and they know how we're built and they're using these tricks. It's the same as supermarkets and that. You know what I mean? It, it's all to do with Yeah, like, we were talking about this the other yeah. day, weren't we? Psychology of supermarkets. Yeah, and it's fucking quite interesting stuff, to yeah. be fair. Down to the music, down to uh, moving. Every week they move one lot of stuff to a, another aisle, so you could start looking around where I want to go in, get what I want. No, no, well, that bugs me, that. I hate it when they move stuff around in supermarkets. Really but don't, it was like I was saying about, like, they put milk at one side, bread yeah. at the other. Yeah. Because they know the two items that go together. Yeah. And most people are going for bread and milk. Yeah, and so you, you get your milk, in, don't and then you, even if you don't go down every aisle, you've still got all those impulse buy at, um, yeah. aisle ends. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, you, in fact, you're passing more opportunities to 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 impulse to buy yeah i'll walk out of the shop going in for ate bread it. and milk spending at least 10 quid yeah yeah I because of bought a load of fucking that. cakes and crisps and stuff yeah do you know what i mean and so, it winds me up like i got go i go shopping with my bro uh and sometimes with my nieces uh like once a week and we go generally on a saturday and like it's one of the worst days of my week what? and it's not the fact that like I, i'm doing it with my bro and my nieces it's the fact that I I want I want to go in, get what I want, and go. 
I don't want to go in and spend like all fucking day. Like yeah. my brother is standing there, and you know, he, he, he looked for the good deals, fair, it's fair enough, but it's time consuming and it's trickery on the mind. You know what? You know what I mean? I, I, it's um, funny you should say that actually because it's like um, I know a few people who are really bad at shopping, whereas I'm like fucking, I know exactly what I want, yeah, I know exactly. normally where to get it. Bugs me if, if I get to the, 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 the aisle and they've not got it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've moved it over the other side. I don't like, no, I don't like movement of aisles. Yeah. That bugs me. Yeah. Yeah, right. But a lot of the time I can try and get in and out and get generally what I want. But, yeah. But su- supermarket shopping doesn't really kind Fucking of irritate me. me up, like, mate. like I know a lot of people yeah. get wound up by it. Proper, man. But no, because it, it's an opportunity for me to go, ooh, what good, nice things am I going to eat this, this month? Yeah, but that oh, falls yeah, right into I'll the trick because of that. food, food, food. If you're seeing food, you're smelling food, you're smelling, food, you're smelling, uh, the, smelling the bakery and yeah. all that, you're hungry. Two, two, now you, two, you're getting too greedy now. Well, two, two um, tips um, when you go supermarket shopping. Yeah. Don't go hungry no. and don't go stoned. No. Yeah, because they're, they're, cause they're two, two different, like, you know, you'll end up buying crisps, chocolates, milkshakes and cakes. Yeah. Both, both yeah. occasions. Yeah. And and healthy options go way out the window. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah, it, it's like businesses push it, it, it. They push it on you when you're not really interested in certain well, things. There you go. We could we could talk about consume consume. This Consumism. that is a topic in itself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, fucking hour is it? Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to talk um, about? Because I've got a couple more stories. Yeah. Go for it. Um, got a UFO um, claim. Yeah. Claim. This is it's true. This is um, <laughs> NASA photos capture moon-sized alien vessel hovering near the sun, and um, so a UFO expert is claiming that NASA satellite captured a photo of a massive um, alien vessel hovering yeah. near the sun. Again, based on the expert's theories, the object could be another Dyson sphere or um, sort of craft. Um, which, yeah. if you don't know what Dyson sphere is, it's sort of like um, a, a something energy that pulls from around energy the from yeah. and plasma. Yeah, to use it as fuel. They, they um, build around the a, a, yeah. A sun. So, they, so they all came from a scientist who basically or in um, a, an astronomer. Tinsy was it? Saw, Tinsy Star, I think it was that we saw. Who's yeah? She basically saw a star. Yeah, um, and it glint into too much. Yeah. too much. So they they hypothesized that yeah, there must be something. It's obscuring the sun, moving in front of it. Before it was meteorites, it. loads of meteorites yeah. at well, first. I, you know, it still possibly could no, be. No, no, they've tested it out no, and it can't be. It. Yeah. So, um, so then this whole thing about Dyson Sphere energy, yeah. using energy and absorbing it and powering yeah. using this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, well, so basically the image is an alleged alien object um, and basically the guy, Scott, um, Scott Warning, yeah. of the UFO um a UFO blog right basically said that the photo was um captured by a solar hexagonal um observatory or the SOHO yeah a starcraft launched by NASA in um the European Space Agency in 1995 to observe the sun oh yeah so they're saying it's a NASA photo it's come from them um, it, it it's clearly shows a, a craft yeah so, shit, man, I was like, oh, actually, where's the, uh, the photos here? All oh, right, because I haven't seen the photo, let's have a look at this little beauty. So, I'm assuming that's going to be it there. Whoa, So, yeah. yeah, I'll post that up on the site. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So, there's an good X-ray photo. solar flare captured by NASA's Solar uh, Dynamics Observatory on um, February, tw- uh, February in that 2014. And that must be the size of Earth, if not bigger. What, that solar flare? Yeah, no, that, the planet. Or the ship. Oh, yeah. Well, or the big. alien object, whatever it is. Could it's, be the Dark Knight for big, a winner. Big enough. Yeah. Well, as yeah. for the object, um, it's basically latest sighting. There's a numerous um, a number of factors that could explain the nature of the object. Um, it could be a minor solar flare that was um, ejected from the sun. Yeah. Um, it could also be um, some sort of... Yeah, but uh, I... Um, ejection from the sun's surface. I've seen, I've seen it where there's uh, been images of uh, a, a craft of some sort going into the sun and craft oh, I've seen of a some couple. sort coming out. I've seen yeah, a few of these where they kind of hover around the sun. Yeah, but well, it's like fuck, man. How'd you get that close? We well, couldn't. We can't get that close. Must be some kind of force field. I know, or... 
Well, another um, thing they said that it could be is just a defect with the um, the technology you know what? or the that imaging system on the on the on the vessel. You know what? That is bollocks. There's so many. Oh, because it, it actually go and have a look at uh, 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 the defects, and then have a look at the photos. Uh, and you then, don't have to tell but, me. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> absolutely s big, big oh. time. Big time, because this has been going on for so long, and they've hit. They used to like uh, black them out, and used to uh, you get rid of the image. But like lately, because uh, UFOs and uh, ships and space is like uh, pretty big at the minute. It's like you know the next yeah, frontier. Yeah, it's like actually um, sort of big, like big media, big, inve- big inve- media inve- firms doing stories on yeah. UFOs, uh, UFO sightings, yeah. and sort of strange. Uh, goings on and yeah. stuff, and it's like well, it's not normal that. But no. that used to be the stuff that they'd laugh at. But now, whereas now it's all like, Ooh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's actually mainstream being, it's thing, being pushed yeah. into the mainstream media. Yeah. So is that um, go, something that we, you know, we should take note of going forward? Because is it going to be a, um, you know, that they're trying to drip it's more feed, BS. drip feed it you a bit more before a disclosure, it's, or is it just trying to give you false information and give you what you want? It's BS. It's BS at the end of the day because look, we don't need their help to see these photos. We've already got photos to say there is something there, right? It's a UFO, unidentified flying object. We don't know what it is. Could be from space. More, more than likely because there's evidence to say that the objects are coming from space. They could just say as much as we know, you know, we know nothing. Yeah, but what they're doing now is saying, right, well, we're going to crawl every uh, every year or every couple of months, more like every year, we're going to let little bits of information out. But the thing is, we don't want them little bits of information. We want the fucking answer. We don't want the drip feed of the little bit of information. That's what they're doing to keep us going on and going on and going they'll on. Unfortunately, that's all give you, though. That's the thing. It's yeah. like, you know, it, it, it's like it's that. It's still BS. You know what I mean? It's, it's still it, it, it's, it's a, a, another way of slowing you down on trying to find the information, which they want nearly fucking everything that you have the right to. Well, I was at. thinking about this the other day, yeah, because, it, I mean, the internet's been so kind of controlled. It's yeah. it comes to a point where oh it's going to get even worse. Well, it? it's going to come to a point where if I Google something, yeah, right, or try and do a bit of research of my own. Oh well, then, this is then I, it's, I can't find that information yeah. because it's classified or whatever. Yeah. You know, it, it's oh classify. You reckon they're going to classify the, uh, the these information? I'm not. Well, well, these just, have been it's not a case of being classified and unclassified. It's just not going up on the web, or it's going to be hidden well, from us. Well, that's it's what going to be a case now. of where we can't physically find it because it's it's not available. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a case of the we want mainstream. When on I there. Google something, the first hundred pages are the bullshit hundred pages you yeah, don't want. Yeah. You yeah. know, which makes it hard for you. If yeah. these algorithms are able to kind of Pinpoint, um, pinpoint what you want, what you want yeah. and what you don't want. Yeah, it, well, yeah exactly. What you want. Well, it's they're like they're trying the to say that these algorithms will target market you. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. if you're then searching for something, surely it can re- do that in reverse. And yeah, yeah, and they're avoiding you from things that, that you can. Yeah, exactly. To take you down a different to the disinformation. Road. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. To all the stuff that isn't relevant. So then, who's going to be in control in the years to come? Oh, it's you going end up going. Tech. Oh, I've been. I've looked hey. into it. Yeah. No, it's bollocks. There's nothing on it. I looked all over the web. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's the the white whale. What you was on about? Oh well, oh. yeah. That's a question that yeah. we got from um, um, EJ, one of our listeners. Yeah. Um, and nice we'll, one, we'll do that in a bit, actually. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, like yeah. Um, she asked us a question, and we were talking about kind of like what between us. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll get yeah, to we'll that. Yeah, we'll get to we'll that, get in, to a that in a little bit later. Yeah. Listen so, out. Um, yeah, well, we've got a couple. I've got one more story before yeah. we move on into okay, the okay. Um, the main the main episode okay. or the main topic of the episode. Yeah. yeah. Which again, Memwith Hill, um, REF Memwith, which yeah. is um, well, you might have been might have heard about it in relation to Edward Snowden. Yes. Uh, yeah. The whistleblower. Yeah. And um, information that he kind of put out about it. Yeah. But again, I felt it was like really strange that because it, people have already done stuff about it. I'd seen a dispatches about it and I'd seen a Mark Thomas pro- comedy product. Yeah, but that's like Area 51. And that was years before. That's like Roswell. Well, yeah, I suppose. But, you know I mean, I mean, but they don't like, go to another story like the real uh, Battle of Los Angeles or something else. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Well, at least like this last story, it deserves a bit different, a bit of um, a change of mood. Yeah. Shall we check? I'll just change yeah, the mood good. one minute. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Ooh, ooh, Baby, you... get my sexy, sexy voice on. Oh, yeah, I'm going to read this story like very wide. Yeah. So, a truck driver. This is another This is another truck driver. Another truck um, driver. Fucking truck drivers. Um, yeah, great truck drivers. This, this is, this is um, a dedication to one of our listeners, uh, Gareth. He's yeah, a truck driver. Yeah, Gareth. Um, so, let's hope this doesn't happen to you. Yes. Um, so truck driver was left unable to deliver his load after thieves stole one million pounds worth of sex toys from the back of his vehicle. Boing. So, um, uh, fucking hell. The assortment of goods um, was meant to go to um, a company called Rocks Off Limited oh. in um, Northamptonshire, um, but was stolen by um, uh, when the um, lorry was parked up by, on a lay-by. Oh, no. Um, and the driver was asleep. Oh no! So they've obviously crept up and fucking uh, and dropped dropped his load. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, whilst the thieves are likely to uh, be satisfied with their load, yeah, it was uh, likely they could have got a, uh, got some, <laughs> they could get some hard time Ooh. as the police launch an appeal to track down, track him down. Um, they arrived um, for their haul and buzzed off. Uh, at some point between 1 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. So they had a quite a big oh, so window did... of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, obviously, quickie, um, then, was well it? a million pounds worth of fucking sex toys, well, yeah, mate. Fucking it hell. seems like How much a is lot. a dildo these days? Fair, fair price, I should imagine. What, 30 quid? About, about 30, like say, mod- modestly, yeah, modest so price, 30 quid. So what, so you're talking, what? Sick. Fuck it, now you're talking shitloads. Eh? Tons of money. Unless they're full of diamonds and fucking studs and shit. Tons of fun. Yeah. Well, someone's going to have fun this weekend, aren't they? Yeah. So the police um, want to hear from anybody who would have um, heard anything about it. Um, If if anyone's approached her in the pub, wanting to, you know, see if you wanted to buy a dildo. Buy a dildo. (laughs) I love beans. Um, Or, yeah, in the New Hampton Shire area. (laughs) Um, I just bought a new cock ring. Well, yeah, exactly. Get on to the police. Yeah. Um, they were going basically. Lay by was on the a the a forty three between the a fourteen, and um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I can imagine someone running down the road with a gimp mask now. There's loads <laughs> of kids playing fucking yeah, like yeah. F- fucking just in abundance on one avenue somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh devil. So basically, um, there was everywhere, though, aren't they? There was the other week. Well, they're saying that they give him seven years if they um, if they catch him. Oh, I would have thought sixty nine. Sixty nine years each. Um, that's what the Northamptonshire Police said. Um, and it's, the incident happened on Wednesday the eighteenth between one and six thirty, as I say, in the lay by. Um, so, usually in the lay by. Well, yeah. So that was it. So if anyone if anyone's got any information, they should contact the police on one oh one. Yeah. Which is the, the rubbish number. Yeah, someone should ring the, up that's, and go. That's the that's the the non emergency police number over here in the UK. One oh one. Yeah. So it's like if you've got like um you want a report you found a box of dildos, yeah. Then that's the number you'd call. Well, yeah. Yeah, not nine nine nine. Not nine nine nine. Yeah, that's obviously... have seen all these dildos walking down the road. Well, buzzing down the road. You get in trouble for that. That's a yeah. prank prank yeah. call. Prank call. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Well, it's uh, yeah, it's not an emergency, is it? Really? Don't go, up, don't go giving out. You know, going on, saying, ringing them up. Nine, nope. nine, nine. Oh God, fucking hell! I'm wrecking the gaff. No. So anyway, we'll we'll, we'll move on to yep. um our main uh, topic. our main topic of the night. Men with Hill. Um, it's a spy base in the heart of North well Yorkshire. Yeah. Um, I first went past it. it was going to Harrogate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harrogate in in Yorkshire, and um, it was one of them where it was, like I said earlier, just didn't have a clue what it was. Yeah, yeah, and um, kind of wanted to look into it anyway, just because I wanted to find out about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Royal Air Force um, Menworth Hill is a joint RAF and US collaboration station um, in the heart of um, Yorkshire in Harrogate. Um, postcode HG three. 2RF, yeah. if you're interested in getting yourself down there so and checking it, it out. Um, it was opened in 1958, and it's um, now 605 acres of um, on, of land. Um, it's uh, linked to be the um, linked to Fort Meade in the United States yeah. as um, a kind of listening station. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a real sight on the landscape due to its um, domes. 
Yeah. And it's been likened to kind of like a golf ball um, of some description, you know, like um, because it's these ray domes. Yeah, the material on it. Well, it does it look looks, flimsy, doesn't it? Look like tracing paper. That's what I said. It looks yeah. proper like kind of, um, but I it can imagine work. it's probably really wind, you know, wind resistant and all yeah, the rest yeah. of it. But um, so when Memworth was first built, there mm-hmm. was like four of those ray domes. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But now there's actually over thirty. Yeah, and they've just been given permission to um, erect a couple more. Oh, so. No. It's growing. Okay, it's um, going to be Area 51 in fucking England, that. And it, it it's basically growing because it's got a kind of um, deal with the incoming data, the communications, yeah. um, and, you know, all this sort of stuff that's coming through. Yeah. That they need to kind of, well, they say need to, but they've been basically <sighs> um, spying, spying, on on, spying on everyone. Yeah. Um, the the new domes were approved for in August um, this year. Yeah. So they're going to be putting up a couple couple of new ones. But what Menworth Hill is, um, it was one. It's one of the most secret bases in the world, right? Well, for yeah, one, it was right. Well, was still yeah. is. You can't get anywhere near the place. To be fair, it's um, it's one of them them buildings where you'll probably never be able to get. I think access. we should do an Area Fifty One um, celebration outside it. Well, you can do. You can go. Yeah. People do actually go over to the place and um, do a bit of um, yeah, protesting. protesting. Yeah. I'll get into that in a minute, actually, because it's quite interesting. Yeah. But um, first time you ever heard of the place? Me, I've, uh, I back of the car, drove past it. Yeah. So is that? Yeah. The f- and what did you think? I thought, what the fuck are them big golf balls doing there? <laughs> and he was like, what? What are they? Yeah, exactly, but you didn't ever think about more or have a look into it? Well, I was, uh, when I got into uh, ufology and um, got into all this, uh, the, uh, yeah, which w- wasn't really that long from where um, when I was, was that age. Yeah, it kind of makes you think there's something shady going yeah, on, doesn't it? Or something dodgy is going on. Or like, myself. Well, like I say, um, they've, they've been approved to put up a couple more of these radar dishes. Yeah. Um, because that's what they are. Yeah. They're just basically high-powered radar. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. But in a dome. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that helps it kind of like strengthens the signal or if there's sort of some sort of magnetic field. Well, it has it, been known. Do you know what I mean? Like, is there some sort of health risks for being near them? I'd say, yeah, because it has been known cars driving by there and breaking down for no reason, absolutely no reason at all. Mm, okay. So there must be, well, for what we know about it, then there must be something in there that's doing something to that. Well, yeah. basically, Menworth Hill, um, it's, um, like I say, it's a joint operation between RAF um, and the US. Yeah. Um, and it's basically run by the NSA. Um, so established by um, President Truman in 1952, it's got its own one. homes, town. It's basically a little town, yeah. right? Um, and it's an RAF base, which yeah. is obviously MOD. Yeah. But then it's, in the heart of it, it's, um, you know, a little um a little in America American Air Force base in yeah. there as well it's an American base yeah um it was basically responsible for signal intel and during the cold war that's what it was built for it was built as a missile defense um System. station yeah in order to kind of monitor um you know any incoming, any, any, missiles. In, incoming missiles and yeah. transmissions and um, to kind of keep us safe and obviously, obviously, after the Cold War, you'd think that that was it, and they wouldn't have any need for this station. But oh no, no, you know, it kind of di- didn't prove that to be the case. So the MOD actually purchased um, the land, um, which was a square mile of moorlands and farmyard in 1950, in preparation for the base. And by the 1970s, they were like, say, four balls visible on the Yorkshire skyline. But now over 30 and more to come the base um, used uh, the base um, was said to have been um, an early warning system for um, our missile defence during the Cold War but yeah. the suspicions obviously yeah, about the why the base was still being re- being used well, yeah. were raised again in the 90s because basically they, they refurbished it yeah, yeah, yeah. they put in all brand new computer systems and um, upgraded pretty much everything um, oh, a dollar there. So obviously that kind of 
raised a bit of kind of raised an eyebrow in terms of well why is this base being funded so yeah, much yeah. why are you putting so much effort into you know bringing this base up well we're skint at the minute well, as well, well yeah they, well this again was with the 90s so it was like money was money was Abundant. no problem really yeah. was it at the time um there's actually a couple of papers investigating um, Men with Hill, and mm. um, one called "Lifting the Lid on Men, Men with Hill." Men with Hill was released in 2012, yeah, um, by Yorkshire CD, uh, CND, um, and they launched the research on the strategic role of Men with Hill. Putting, yeah. f- putting 30 years of research together, and um, we'll post those on the website. Yeah, well, you yeah, can yeah, get yeah. your own copy of that. Um, information at yorkshirecnd.org.uk. Yeah, go on and have a look. And they'll send you a physical copy. Yeah. Um, in 2016, Edward Snowden leaked documents that shown basically exactly what People the sort of stuff about. they were eavesdropping against. Yeah. So, good um, lad, good lad. From spying on satellites, um, corporate espionage, yeah. um, Wi Fi connections, phones, emails, um, Anything informational based was basically going through Men with Hill in terms of communications yeah. on a global scale. Um, and it even kind of linked back to some very high profile um, assassinations. Yeah. Do you know, and that's yeah. what Snowden's kind of Interpret- whistleblowing. Yeah. Well, he dropped the information, but people looked into that information and found that they it went you know, further it went, along. It kind of yeah. it was dropping people in it left, right, and centre, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so obviously, that's why they want to capture him and murder him. So during obviously this inv- investigation, they found that because he was over three hundred, um, I think he was about three hundred and fifty meta, meta files, Back which had now. so much information, which had dates and times of yeah, emails, yeah. Um, recipi- reciprocation of the emails, yeah. um, so what, what all they the contained. It had literally everything, do you know what I mean? Literally so, eyes only. So there was, it was a case of that he dropped all this documentation, which proved that information obtained at the Memworth Hill site yeah. had led directly to assassinations. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, and and that was kind of well, it's a bit illegal, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it depends because uh, there's certain like uh, Russia, I think America now. Um, I don't know. Well, we do it on the quiet, but um, like the Russian president said, if you touch one of our people, we touch one of you. Well, it's just it's the spying on everyone. That's the thing. It's yeah, like, but everyone knows everyone's spying on everyone. It's, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Everyone knows it's like who do. they do, but like what I'm saying is, well, it's a case of the. I mean, they're listening to everybody based on like keywords, so you, you're not yeah, getting yeah. listened to oh, unless boy. they give you. They say you give them cause to. So it's like if you come in and say a load of keywords um, that are watchwords, yeah, then you potentially get picked up. Um, well, I, I've their got a question. Now. Algorithms, and then it'll it'll probably click you on somebody who listened to I've it. I've got directly. a question. That one because it, it, by now you would have thought that the the ability was uh, that great that like you. Well, this say, was this was they know like everything about you. You know what I mean? Earlier on, yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, yeah. I mean, to this point now, it's like you've got to think. Wow, do, do you know? It's like mate, they, they go on about delete my internet browser history. Do you know when like people die in films and in a comedy way? Yeah, it's like well, this shows how the there's rich... people out there who know everything about your your you better know you better than yeah. other people know you because yeah. of this data. Yeah, yeah. Right, but this is what they're using against you. Using yeah. this data against you, yeah. so it's they can p- the they can pick day. up on stuff and and you know pick up on stuff that you don't even realize yeah. they're picking up on legal blackmail. But I, as you was uh, saying through that, I had a question through my head that I want to ask you: If this is so bad, how um, what how would you do it if you were the government? What do you mean? If you were in a position. Where no, but um, it's not you... a case of the, the. This is the thing, right? When nine eleven happened, right? Yeah, they turned around or Bush but, turned around and said, right. Well, in order to keep you safe, we've got to give them shitloads got, of money we, and keep you no, safe. No, no. In order to keep you safe, we've got to take away some of your freedoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means you'll get searched more at airports. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. means, and it's going to be an inconvenience to you. No yeah. one said it's not. Yeah, because it is. Yeah, yeah. you'll get searched more. 
you'll get watched more, you'll Who get listened they? to more. Yeah, well, they, they'll argue that they, they need to do that in order to get the information to catch the bad guys. Yeah, right? but then that's the, there's where the grey line is. Yeah, of course is. it is. It's a grey area. Massive right? grey li- line, But yeah. ev- it's, it's almost like everyone's treated as a suspect until yeah. you, you're caught doing something. Yeah. Yeah, until you prove proving guilty is a, a concept. Is like, yeah, if you you caught doing something, then you you guilt and you're guilty of it, then you'll go to jail. Yeah, well, but, that's just supposed but to be. Literally, by putting the the eyes on you and the ears on you constantly, it's like almost honestly through paranoia. And I mean, in terms, yeah. so like we were t- telling you about kind of the panopticon yeah. um, concept of um, I think Jeremy Bentham yeah. came in and he said prison reform i've got this great idea of a new prison where it'd be a case of like um, a tower in the middle and it was um everybody could you could see everybody from the tower yeah everyone's cell yeah and you'd shine lights into the the cells on at random yeah and everyone will start feeling paranoid that you couldn't do much because you you have fear of being seen yeah, yeah because yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah, cells yeah, yeah. was yeah. facing everyone else's cells yeah right so I know after time you you take more and more guards away, so it ended up being a one guard operation, yeah. and it was less efficient expense. and less yeah. expense, yeah. and and people wouldn't would behave because they were felt like they were being watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. As a concept, that concept's been ran with. It's now a C, global CCTV network. Yeah, yeah. That is everywhere yeah. and and watching you all the time. No yeah. more than Britain. Britain's that a one. bastard for it. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like literally, and um, but again, it's like you know when when there's a, a missing person or whatever. Generally, they're they're able to track that person. Yeah, f- through CCTV footage for miles if they're on f- public pathways and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, but the question comes: Do you want to be tracked? That's that's the, what I'm saying, is, though. Yeah, it's this not this a case of that. It's you, it's a case of you get is it taking away asked. freedoms of yours? Yeah, uh, by yeah. by sovereignty protecting you, but you, you no, don't. Is it protection? That's what really? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. No, so, I think it's more blackmail. More, I've got. Well, that's what they're using it for. But yeah. that's exactly what they're using it for. They're not yeah. using it for. But the I mean, same way, they might be using it for the good. But they're also using it for the bad, for the good and it proves that, like with this information that Snowden's dropped, it does prove that they are using it for um, for evil doings yeah. as well we as, know about as, it. as catching the bad guys. And we know like. about it. And what's happened about it? Fuck, fuck all. all, fuck all, exactly. And that's that it. just shows that we've already lost uh, a battle. Well, and we can't lose too many battles, or we'll lose the war. And we can't do that. Well, like I say, they're spying on everyone, and yeah. they've got two main ways of doing this. Yeah. Um, the first is so, um, Thornsat, yeah. which uses the big golf ball domes, as everyone's seen. Um, yeah. Or well, you if you Google Men with Hill, um, you'll you'll see what we mean. Um, the got so the, that uses the bo- the golf ball ray domes, um, which is basically a powerful radar antenna that listens to transmissions between foreign satellites. And then the other method is overhead. Which is uses government satellites from the US uh, to monitor mobile phones or cell phones, Wi-Fi signals um, on the ground, and this is basically by the when the time Snowden dropped um, the information, there was already three hundred and thirty-five million data packets recorded that showed great That's a great phenomenal. deal of information. Phenomenal. And like I said earlier, this data package it, it was um, kind of emails and documents and all the rest of it. So you know, it's quite a lot. Uh, of, of stuff yeah. that was dropped um, back in that but then like you know everyone went wild for this because Snowden had dropped this information yeah right and um, but like but I said the government's tricky back in uh, oh don't trust him but that's what I'm saying it was like it was a new thing because people have known about this for fucking ages I yeah. mean there's been people oh, who've mate. done shows on it and done like um, you know exposés and stuff yeah I mean um, I watched a, a dispatches on it a fair few years ago, yeah. and what what the you know the place was, and and it kind of interested me. Yeah. And um, then Mark Thomas. Yeah. Did, oh yeah, brilliant. Did, um, Mark an Thomas. episode on it, and I think he basically he was just taking the piss out of the the site, though. To be honest. Yeah. I think he was right, just basically done, exploit exploit exploiting the fact that there was um, a no fly zone over men with Hill at the time. Yeah. Which I was saying to you, yeah, I bet yeah. any money as soon as he flew... Because basically what he did was, um, Memorial Hill was obviously in operation, and yeah. he was saying like... Still he was kind of 
do speculating on why they were giving this upgrade because it was during the nineties when he did this show. Yeah. So obviously, when he's thinking, well, the Cold War is over, so why are you investing so much money into this base? Yeah, yeah. no need. So you couldn't get near it. No, but he found that there was a no fly zone. Oh, there was a no flying limit. Yeah, you could fly any altitude over the base. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So he said, "Well, fair it is. I do it in a hot air balloon." Yeah. So he he, he was trying to arrange a hot air balloon tour of Memorial yeah. Hill. I would have um, also took that. Yeah, I would have as well. But apparently, like, well, obviously the police were instantly there when he landed. Yeah. And um, wanting to know what he was up to, but yeah. the thing, fact is, it's like they they've um you know instantly rushed in, and he's saying it's not illegal yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. And they went, oh, I, well, I'm pretty sure it is. And he's like, well, no, I've checked. Well, uh, they now. don't know because yeah. they don't know exactly what the fuck. Yeah. So, but well, I can guarantee you, that, what? Well, does that work for us or not? What? Because if you think about it, if he's done that, and now, right now, it, it, it's closed airspace. You can't do it now. So they've got the, in, in a way, in the future, they get the upper hand. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's, 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 shown them, he's shown them yeah. the loophole, and yeah, they've yeah, closed yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, no, I thought it was hilarious what I he did. I did, I thought it was brilliant. But I think the, the thing was, man. it was, but these, um, you know, this with what my point is is like it was going on for, for I mean it's been going on for decades yeah. and, and the fact is people have known about it for this this long but it's like when Snowden dropped that it was like what it's this l- yeah. listening base yeah, yeah, yeah. what Sony no way what the and then but it? well yeah but it's been known to be that for yeah. for a bit but well, um, there's got to be a lot of places around it uh, around the uh, the world that down the road there's something dodgy going on and you just don't fucking know about it. Well, the, like I say, the base be, was supposed to have been, um, you know, used in the Cold War. Yeah. And then finished, um, and then once the Cold War had finished, it should have been shut down. Yeah. But, um, but we're back in there. It we? was basically just still being used to spy on everyone. Yeah. Um, at one point, and this was back in the 90s again, we, um, it could handle 100,000 phone lines at one time. Jesus. Yeah. And this was back in 1999, so, you know, with the 20-odd tw- years everyone. worth of te- new technology and communication speed, yeah, you can only assume that, like, that's that's grown yeah, uh, like, oh, exponentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was looking into this guy, right? Well, saying to this guy, it's an organisation that I came across called the CAAB. Right. Right. And it's um, they've had a, a big sort of protest against men with Hill. Good boys for yeah. for a fair few years, yeah. Um, and they're called the C C A A B, and this is Men with Hills, um, the campaign for um, accountability of American bases, which started in 1992, um, after a long campaign of protest at Men with Hill for health and safety issues and um and safety for the area, um, they say that the site is a weapon system. Um, and that it's one of the most powerful in the world. So you've got a guy called Dr. Martin um, Schwauer, I think it's called. It's it's S C H W E G E R Schwager. Um, I can't pronounce it. He goes protesting there every Tuesday night with a group of people. Yeah, yeah. To this day, he still does it every Tuesday yeah. night. They meet up at six at six p.m. Um, they have a protest. Um, and basically he protests because he says it's, uh, um, uh, you know, stuff going on in this, this site. You had a the, perfect word on there. What? Accountability. Yeah. It's account- Where's the fucking accountability? Well, that's, There's that's never what I'm accountability saying. for it. Well, that's what they're authority. asking for. They're yeah. asking for, they've come, the, the government have let, um, a foreign country take yeah. up, um, land on our, in our country. Yeah. yeah. And said, do what you want. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. They've they've basically they've, and they've turned it. Country. They've turned it into. A, and but this is what this guy was saying. He's saying not in my name. Yeah, you know. And they, yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. saying is they've turned it into a weapons system. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like beautiful countryside, and it's just got this sort of weapon in the middle, sat in the middle of it, and a target with a load of Death Star. Is yeah, well, you made them? a good point actually, because it, yeah, because people know what it is. It's like it's it, it's a a target. Yeah, but B. Like Area 51, it's like, do you think now it's a kind of a well-known 
site yeah. that they don't actually operate out of it as that capacity, but they must do because well, it's such... Well, they do to a certain degree. Well, they can't not because it's the biggest site they've got ah, in terms of the most got, important site they've yeah, got but in they terms of NSA sort of, um, like, communications. When it went off in the 90s, the big thing on um, Roswell and that and Area 51, um, they ended up moving um, the crafts and um, uh, more specialised technology to Fort, I think it was Fort Bragg, um, and yeah. it was uh, North Well, that's its sister, there. that's yeah. it, so it's got communications yeah. with them. But there's also uh, tunnels. And connections. There's, yeah, there's all loads of connections. Well, this is the thing, there's a, it, the, tunnels there. it's actually said that this memory has got its own bunkers, do you know, like it's got a yeah, nuclear yeah, yeah, bunker. Yeah, that. That, well, it's um, a tag, isn't it, really? Yeah, well, no, I think... They must think themselves as a target. They'll probably find, think that they're pretty safe. Communication's you know I mean? the first place that you hit. So, on the, on the well, yeah, if you yeah. want to get yourself down there, get yourself down to Menwith Hill on a Tuesday night and you can protest along with the guys. Um, yeah. And, and do you know what? Uh, it was pretty time. funny, actually, because they consider themselves nuisance, a nuisance. Good yeah. lads. Like, yeah, they're right. like we, we and trespass girls. and we climb over and we, like, you know, yeah. get close, to try and get close to yeah. the ray domes and all the rest of it. What's and that doing, the ph- photography thing, you know what I mean, and doing the law on that? Yeah, but, well, the thing is, it's like the... Um, that law has actually changed. I'm going to have to look into it a bit more because I obviously I do photography, I do street photography as well, and um, that might one and of I my things is street that. portraiture. Man, I like yeah. it, and it's like it will the the law of about taking images on public property yeah. is now apparently changing as well. So is it, or if not, it has already changed. So oh, I don't right. know. Yeah, cause because you, people argue, don't they? That oh, you, I can film where I want. I'm, you know, I'm not breaking any laws. Yeah, private, it's, private, uh, it's public property. Public property. You can film. Uh, no, that, that I think that ha- that's the change. I'm not 100 percent sure, so I don't want to comment on it. But I think there has been a, a shift. I in think that. they're gonna. If they haven't, they they they're, they're looking at it. But that's my quite point. And again, it goes there. back to this sort of topic of being. They're listened filming to. us. Why can't yeah, we film that's, them? That's exactly what I was about to say. You know it's mate? like if you're. If your your my argument is if a police officer says sorry son you can't film here or take photos here, it's like well there's a sh- police security camera f- yeah. pointing directly at me, yeah. so it's like Show can I ask you says. not to film me and yeah. I will not film anyone yeah. else? And they it's, say I can't do that exactly, but then well I but, can't do it then. Well okay, so so you so what am I expected to form a recruitment of <laughs> of, of, our, of police enforcement officers? to then hit the streets to enforce my yeah. laws against you yeah. for doing the same thing that you're telling me not to do. Well, that's it. I'm using that to defend me and you, that's officer. It. Well, that's what a lot of these bloggers yeah. say. It's like, you know, they say, well, no, I mean, I'm filming you because it's protecting me. Yeah, do you know exactly. What I mean? you, you need to these days because so. the amount of tricks and stupidity of uh, how, how it's run is, is, is it's laughable. The point is... Are we living in a, a, a panopticon? Are we living in a 1984 yeah. George Orwell sort of... Nearly, um, I'd n- say nearly. State or, uh, I mean, he was bang on the nose, wasn't he? Yeah. In terms of um, predictions. Yeah. Um, There's quite a few people who have been on uh, this kind of uh, thing, seeing what's going on with uh, yeah, George Orwell. He, he had uh, something to say on it. Yeah, It seems to be... A lot of stuff that he was saying is uh, coming true. I don't know if he gave him the ideas or was just telling us that's what they're going to do. Maybe he was. Maybe he was giving well, the yeah. ideas. Maybe it, it was ways, a case it, really? that he was, um, you know, um, I don't know. It's too, too kind of on the nose. Of, but I think it, 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 it's too easy as it's well. It's one of them, though. It's like if you, you're trying to write a, a novel and you were trying to think, right, what would the harshest sort of environment might be, or what would, the, what would the worst sort of kind of si- situation, situation be? be? Or what our yeah. future's going to be uh, like. Yeah, exactly, and it's like, he's come up with this, and it just so happened to be... To be coming true. Yeah, on exactly. All, uh, or maybe it's it's same. a self-fulfilling prophecy. The guy wrote a hey, piece yeah. of fiction, and pe- somebody who had the power and the influence Start said, not it. a bad idea, that. Yeah, I think it more likely went that way, because the way it's going, it's like... You know what I mean? It's it's, it's 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 one of them. It's at the moment they're like um, uh, dividing families because it's all about uh, divide and conquer. Yeah. So they div- divided the societies by giving us less, taking more, and now they're doing it with the families like uh, uh, 
were counting however many people in your house were charging you this amount instead of it being like well it's more important it's more important this in this day and age and you're reminded about your um your you know privacy online and in per- personal privacy and having your your bubble yeah yeah no one oh you yeah, feel you like did. you're being kind of um oh. antagonized or whatever if you're in someone gets in your personal space yeah or whatever the situation is um you know you you prompted to be more cautious and safe about about yeah, you, you, you won't you, go you to de- a stranger and say a, this and your give data, this, would you? identity yeah. your personal sort of private documents yeah, signatures yeah. and all and that, that includes kind of your nowadays your 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 image yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of image rights image yeah. not yeah. just image rights but you're able to kind of um log into things now with with your with face facial recognition, recognition. Yeah. Fingerprint. Um, I mean, there's software out there that can kind of generate faces yeah. and stuff, and these really also, good. So you know, really in terms good. of deep faking and people being able to impersonate you, yeah, it's quite right, easy on nowadays. video calls or whatever. Yeah. Then you know, is it too much to ask not to be filmed and not to be recorded? Well, my brother came up to me the other day and asked me about this. I mean, I sound that like sounds extreme. Yeah, yeah, right, and that's the. I am talking about the most extreme sense of the word. Yeah, yeah. right, or the X sense of the 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 topic. But, oh, but it's actually happening because, uh, like, my brother come up to me and said he was telling me about a story about a guy who'd been saying uh, that his image was put somewhere where he wasn't, and I turned around to him and said, "Well." This is the thing I, I've I've known about this for years, and oh, so he uh, was made to look like he was. He was in, in a, a different place area. This is was. the new uh, Google uh, technology that's just starting to come out now. They've done the face, they've done the voice. Now they've done the and now they're doing the placements and putting items. Oh right, the making object. GPS like yeah. fake GPS signals. I mean, well, you can do it yourself with VPNs. Do you know? I mean, you can yeah. say you can make your phone believe you're in in fucking Hong Kong or wherever. Yeah. yeah. And all it is is bouncing your signal, signal off satellites. Yeah. So I mean, it's the old one of like when they they used to go for the old um, like the old uh, mobs and stuff like that. Yeah, the old gangs. It's the old systems of them that this that's still effective now and upgraded to what it was back then. Except for now, it's a lot harder in certain ways if you get the right ones Ooh, but yeah. it'd be more expensive as well to go and buy it oh well there you go unless you've got it's good mate it's a pretty interesting topic I think that um, you know in terms of what they're doing they, they obviously it's known that Don't they're, they're, they're uh, um, a spy a spy base yeah definitely um, and obviously they're they're using it for corporate fucking gain yeah, yeah. They're using it for um, corporate sabotage. They're yeah. using it personal for personal data and sabotage as well. Yeah, collect, collating personal data. Yeah. And um, for, yeah, for what reasons? I mean, well, this is the thing. It's like, uh, is this data being used for third parties? Is it? Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Which it can, it should, in law, it shouldn't be allowed. No, it shouldn't be. Under, right. And it should, be, it, it should be stated so yeah. too. Uh, but I mean, and under Data Protection Act and stuff. I mean, what to what extent? Of this data, are they collecting what? Collecting I mean, it's crazy. You know I mean, everything. in you know, with the data protection thing, are we able to kind of um, ask them for this? Uh, right, because because I know that you know, yeah, with but they're only GDPR, you you're allowed to ask for. Is that, is that what it's called? I always yeah, forget. Uh, I can't remember. I always no, forget I the initials. Four letters, yeah, yeah G- four, four, GRPA, yeah, I think GRP, it is something like that. Some other, yeah, yeah, uh, gen, gen, data protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically, it's uh, upgrade your. So, your data, data protection says that if a company has information on you. You can you ring can, them up you can request, and request it. it. Yeah. Now, well, some of them ask for an administration fee, but it's not a lot. Oh, yeah. uh, are you sure on that? On I don't know. Pe- I mean, I know a lot of time apps, you do. If you if you want video, or if you want a copy of something, you get charged, and it can be charged from a tenner. But uh, if it's anything to do with uh, governmental, uh, hospital, police, or military, it can go up to uh, fifty. All oh, right, there you yeah. go. Right, okay. Yeah. So, so, but you, well, you can, can request, you can it, request yeah. it. And you can talk over the phone about it, you know, like... And I they're not you. allowed to refuse it? No. So, would that apply to places like this? 
Uh, who no. would, you, would you have to get in touch with, like, the fucking Department of Defence or something, or to try and track that no, information No, I down? don't even think you'll get anywhere close to that, well, to be yeah, honest. Well, like, this no. is it. I always wonder, like, what, how big are these files yeah, come that under people national have got security, on. they can't yeah, let any of the information out. Because whenever I hear, like, I'll, I'll be listening to, so, say, like, like, a history podcast or something, or and they'll go... And they'll have all these records of them, on them, or like yeah. really deep history, hi, yeah. you know, like, oh, and then they got in trouble and ended up doing this, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, you know. And it's like, wow, that is quite in depth. It's like, you know. It's like your service, think about it, your server, um, uh, your, uh, like, Plusnet and, uh, like. Oh, yeah, yeah your, your, your internet provider, yeah. they They've know got a lot about so you. so much yeah. information on you, and they do give it away, as well, sell it. To get some uh, dough back on it, but they've so much information on you that they probably know you more than you know yourself. And like, I think was it you who said it uh, yesterday about cat food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I, it was I actually. Think, I think that was it was actually brilliant. Peep Show. Yeah, it was an episode of Peep Show where yeah. uh, Jez goes shopping and he comes back and he says, "I've done the shopping, but um, yeah, he goes, uh, uh, Mark's opening the getting the groceries out of the bag, yeah. and he says." Why have you bought a tin of cat food? And he says, you know, it, it'll fucking... I do it to fuck up the Nectar Inspector, which is like a Nectar card yeah, point yeah. system in the, in the shops. Yeah, it's a, good, it's it's a like, good like little idea, though. To but fuck up the Nectar it. Inspectors, you know, they make, because they'll be like, hey, who are these guys, yeah. you know, drinking vodka all day with the starving cat? Yeah, yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah. well, yeah, because it's like he's bought something... And out of out of well, no. The ordinary. fact is, the card, yeah, yeah. It, even though it gives you rewards with points, yeah. it's a way of collecting data yeah. on you, yeah, right. So when they yeah. check that data, they know what you've bought, how much you've spent, yeah, and um, what the popular brands were, yeah. like you know, in terms yeah. of like they might have ten, you go in. ten different types of cat yeah. food, but you know which ones are most popular. Yeah, you know, it, it does give a lot of information yeah. by using these cards, and that's you just know, going to the shop and buying one item. It's, now it's, imagine. A definite marketing life. technique yeah. used where they, they decide that they'll go, um, oh, yeah, well, we need to know which areas of our our products yeah. are, are kind of booming. Do you know what I mean? They've got the till systems, which probably gives them that data as well. Yeah, but, they've but got then it the on rights a, of them selling it on or what that, giving it away. What that, what that data wrong. doesn't give them is age demographics. Yeah. Um, it doesn't give them... Because um, it can't be age discrimination. Well, no, no. When, when I go to a till, till point, yeah, yeah, I pay you like any other customer, and yeah. I, they, all my stuff goes through the checkout, and it's yeah. a one-to-one interaction rather with a computer yeah. or a person, yeah. right? But they don't jot down, it was a man, he was aged between 25 to 35 with yeah. fucking a beard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, whereas a Nectar card or one of these points cards supermarkets give out yeah. will all, automatically, because you've already registered, so they know you're a man between this age group, yeah. right? Again, it's a valuable data that they can use to kind of rather, the, what they'll say to kind of improve their stores or sell and say, well, this guy, he's got his email address here, he buys beard products. Yeah every other week yeah. or whatever or he buys a certain yogurt and then you'll walk month. out the door and yeah. you'll get someone there going oh excuse me sir could you uh, could you write the, uh, could you fill this out for me yeah for some sponsorship or some like something and they've got that and they can get the data from that of course you know yeah because I mean? yeah. they could just say yeah you can do what you want one thing there that interests me actually it's do you know these um, heritage sort of websites where yeah. it's um, it'll say you know your sort of um, past history and yeah. your DNA profiling and all the rest of it um, yeah. they're, they're, playing there, they're all kind of like gathering data yeah you? oh yeah I so mean, much data so much, joining everyone but, but there's so much to that I think we've talked about it in the past yeah, uh, past episodes because I think it's um the Mormons, yeah, that's who, the own, one. who who were doing it, they're yeah. running that website because um, they want to save you all. Yeah, yeah, but it's they want to save you all by proxy. Are they? Are they, how they uh, how, where they getting the money from Some, to do this? I don't know if it is actually the and Mormons. They get, it could be they, the Quakers. It's one of them. Because I've just listened to a big thing about the Mormons and it never got brought up. Yeah, yeah. They could sell, <laughs> so, they could sell the information and, and uh, what by a copy. <laughs> So they've still got a copy and sell it to someone else for another copy. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, well, no, they, they, it's an infinite copy, and it? it's de- digital data well, nowadays. Yeah. It's like yeah. you, you can sell so the that. electric gold. It's, it's, this is what I was saying about kind of like, um, you know, you know, this film, um, Ready Player One. Yeah, uh, Ernest yeah. Klein's Ready Player One. It's a great book. Yeah, not so great on the film, but the books. I didn't uh, see the, the film. Book's the book's book. brilliant. Yeah, watch the film. I mean, it's a good film. Yeah, but like the books, chance, the, book, the books crazy good, right? Um, yeah, but, you've got your imagination in that. But one. the point is, in the Oasis or in this sort of computer world, it happens on the Xbox. You will play the Xbox, and it'll kind of be like. You've got an avatar, and it'll say, "Do you want to buy a T-shirt for your avatar? Do you want to buy a pair of yeah, trainers for your yeah, avatar, yeah. or an emote, or something?" Yeah, yeah. And the details, and all these things that make you you. Yeah, yeah right. And show off yeah, your yeah, yeah. personality with these things, right? Yeah, you're all. So in Ready Player yeah. One again, it's you're an avatar. You can go out and buy the 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 car of your dreams, the clothing, make yourself look however you want. Yeah, but that's the future of of progress in terms of like um create it's the dream really isn't it creating money from yeah. nothing yeah yeah because, yeah because that's the way like digital media has gone it's you you can produce something yeah. once right yeah you put it on the online yeah and then you can sell it a million times and never have to produce anything again yeah yeah because Perfect it's a case work. it's a case of there's no distribution there's no uh-huh. hard disk there's uh-huh. no cover art no nope. you just literally yeah, all this stuff that goes into making a physical object has been taken away, sort yeah. of thing. So yeah, 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 yeah. totally, man. Totally. Uh, so I think it's it, to be watched well, we're we're on the web as well, but we've yeah. never been a physical medium. No, <laughs> and like in every respect to the word, and it's only because it's the best communication, and it's yeah. the perfect time at the moment. Uh, well, actually, I'd say about ten years back is probably the perfect time of, of doing this. Um, Pirate radio. You know, yeah, nah, back in the nineties, doing some static pirate radio that oh, no, nobody could the understand of the, the internet, word you were saying, and then can, some really grimy beats. When you know, like YouTube and Google and all that come through, and then like you well, know, well, I I was actually the, ahead of the curve. Open. I was ahead of the curve in this respect because I was doing something back in the day, yeah. like be, when YouTube just started up, and I started like um, an on-demand TV thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it was pretty much like Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, if we would yeah. have carried on with it, I'm like, who knows? But yeah. you never know. Well, this year, well, it's all about the money injection, and it, it really. was it was good though because it was all like independent um, creators and yeah. people like who was making stuff, so they were putting it out. Good. And There's then always it was on demand on the it. website. It was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Good. Um, well, that was it. That's the episode on basically. Well, we turned out to be about about protecting your data and protecting yeah. yourself yeah. and yeah. your information, but generally about the Menworth Hill um, base. Yeah. Um, and what it kind of does and what it is, what it is, because you might have seen it it's and a wondered big what it is. Spying area. Yeah. That's it. Well, basically, that's what it is. It's yeah. a big spy. Yeah. Well, it's actually known as the ear. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's such the big ear. Even yeah. GCHQ's in there. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah our, all in uh, it. that's the yeah. our government. Well, this is it. So, like I say, it's a giant up. But I mean, like, I hope that shed a bit of light on the on the area yeah. for you. And look um, into some more of it. Of course, as well, I mean you know there is. I mean? Well, it's very kind of few and far between the information yeah. around, based around it. I mean, there's a lot of people who are putting stuff out now. Yeah, but. Um, but well, the older information can yeah, give you yeah. keys for the information. Well, out that's now. it. I felt like I had to go along a, a, a bit further back yeah. and try and find key pit parts that I kind that of they felt hide was or interesting. Miss. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I think yeah. like it was a kind of a good topic, a bit different. Yeah. And um, we've got a couple. You tell of, us how you feel. We've got what? Yeah, yeah tell us how you feel. You, we've yeah. got a couple of good episodes coming up actually. Yeah, so oh, yes, yeah, yeah. so make sure you stay um stay subscribed hmm. for that. Yeah. Um we've got one next week which is going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Um Sadly. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, yeah, he's going to be he- yeah, it's going to be a real good topic, this one. I think it's going to be yeah. pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, we'll be back for um, the extra midweek. Yeah. Um, apologies, there was no extra last week. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it, it didn't happen. So, yeah. yeah. Um, if you have anything you want to add or you want to talk to us, you can email us at neverstraightanswer at gmail.co.uk. You can. Um, oh, no, is it dot .com? Dot .com. It is dot .com, yeah. yeah. So, neverstraightanswer at gmail.com. Um, you can get us on Twitter at NASA underscore never, um, Instagram at never straight answer. Where can we get you on um, Twitter, Taylor? Uh, Twitter at NASA one. So 
Yeah. So what, Taylor, uh, at Nan- Taylor, Taylor at, at NASA, NASA one. NASA one, as in the word at, right? Not okay. In the, the symbol. Taylor at NASA one. Yeah. Um, on the Taylor's Instagram. I mean, on Twitter. Uh, sorry. Twitter, yeah, I don't, um, I don't do Instagram. If you want to um, help us out and p- uh, become a Patreon, yeah. that'd be absolutely amazing. Yeah. And um, we've got a couple lot. of really good Patreons who um, uh, yeah. we've got to give big shout outs to. Yeah. And talking about the shout outs, we'll do them now. Oh. Yeah, we always got some good shout outs and the questions as well. I nearly forgot about the questions. So, oh, yeah, we'll give a big shout out to Jesse G. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. Jesse G and not so Minnesota nice girls yeah, are over at com- um, Comic, like a Comic Con this um, last couple of days. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. they've been posting loads of stuff on um, their social media. If you've not checked out their podcast, get yeah, over there and, look, and check them out. Not so Minnesota nice yeah. uh, podcast. We'll give a big shout out to EJ, yeah, um, EJ. the Ginge. Um, yeah, she's go, basically go. got a question for us. Um, she's Ooh. basically saying, like, in terms of um, internet white whales. Yeah. So we were saying this earlier, weren't yeah. we? Um, stories that, like, you went to try and find again. Yeah. And they just disappeared, eluded you. Is there any story that is kind of, you've gone to look back on it and it, you couldn't find any information? You know what? Yeah. Now, uh, uh, right. When the internet first started, I was in college, and I I I started looking into this kind of stuff. Well, I did years before, but I, like I had more um, more ways to uh, you know get the information. So I did a f- uh, a few uh, searches, found a few things, and I ended up finding one item where it, the information was just golden. But then I copied it, and it printed out, kept it, but I went back to it to try and find it again, uh, actually not that long ago, again, and I could not find where this, this this was. So it's been taken down or blocked, or there's some kind of error across the line. Uh, that That's my most memory, memorable one, but there has been quite... There is, there's been quite a few. I mean, I, I suppose most of, most of them, because if you think about it, most of the cases don't get closed. I don't think I know that many co- uh, cases of, you know, um, with a lot of information that have been closed. I mean, look at look at Area 51. Well, yeah. Yeah, 1947. Uh, 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 and, like, it's never been closed. But yeah. it's the same with the JFK. Never been closed. Oh, yeah, but there's a lot of... Landing on the moon. But there's still a lot of really information about it out there. That's what I mean. I had one where I think basically um, there was a, a case a couple a while ago where there was a video from a high-ranking NASA official or a RAF official, government yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it started to go viral. Right. And everyone was like, oh, send, was sending me links, but yeah. I was out and doing something. Yeah. And when I got to check the links, all the links were taken down, right? You know what? Are you and it was and me? it was some sort of live stream that was supposed oh, to right. have like started to go viral, and they took it down rapid because he was about to re- release some sort of sensitive information yeah, about. Yeah. I can't remember what it was for. But that's that's what I'm saying. It I think it was about the moon or something. Yeah, yeah. And then it just literally went dark, and all the all the topic information couldn't find anything about it. Um, they were like sworn yeah, to silence, I suppose. But like that, that was something that I now I can't even remember that much information about it. Yeah. that I can try and find it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. My rec- recall of it's too vague. Yeah. So I think that is my. Yeah, but you've still got a little bit of information. Yeah, you could yeah. look on that to look on. I could probably try and find it, but it's it seems well, it might like throw a... you down a different oh, route as well. It seems like a lot of work. But well, yeah, yeah. But... Got um, another question. Oh. Now this is this is a good one actually. Yeah, this is from oh, good. Um, love him. WTFA um, com podcast. I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how if I'm ever saying that right because they they always ask us a question. So yeah. I'm if I'm, so what is it? The WTF? The WTF? Amicom podcast. Right. Amicom. And you probably might just say, "Who the fuck is this?" But I actually know no, who no, this no. is. Um, is is Dash um, Rendar uh, still canon? Is his question? Is Dash what? Or is it Randar? Rendar? Rendar? Dash Rendar? Is he still canon? 
I don't know. Well, I think he's a Star Wars character. Oh, right. So Okay. Well, uh, I know, well, I know he's a Star Wars character. So Star Wars yeah, um, officially that made Dash Cannon in in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, when he was, um, um, again, basically in the Star Wars story, um, Han Solo. However, Disney stuck, snuck him back in um, right. in 2018 um, and basically can, can casually mentioned him in this Han Solo See, movie. See, I haven't noticed this. <laughs> so, um, basically, he he's... They've, they've popped him back in, yeah. So he is, I suppose. Well, if yeah. He's in the, if he's in the Star Wars um, solo movie, then I haven't seen I'd that say, yet. Because well, I know yeah, it's been because, a time, but I the, haven't the, seen the, most the of the Star Wars, Wars stories. So, like the um, the Rogue One and yeah. this one, I've, Rogue One, I've seen, but they've I... definitely got to be canon because they are they're connected universe. Yeah. So I'd say a hundred percent Dash is canon. Right, well yeah. then, there you go. There you There's go. your answer, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't say we never give you a straight answer. <laughs> big, big podcast shout out to Podcast HQ, because um, yeah. I know they, they retweet us a lot. Yeah, So yeah, thanks man. for that. Yeah. Um, the Just Conversation love podcast, they, they're nice people. Yes. So big big love. Yeah, man. Um, extra special big love working the night shift, Mr. Crabtree. Yeah, bro. And yes. um, uh, obviously we give a big shout out to um, uh, Gareth earlier with his, yeah, um, with his yeah. theme trucking, story. Son. Keep on trucking. Um, we want to give a big shout out to the Ad Free Talk Radio podcast. Yeah, Free Talk. Yeah, free free talk radio. It's all yeah. free. It's all free. It's all yeah. free these yeah. days. Just listen to it. Yeah, that's all Unless, you have to do. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Um, big shout out to um, Sean, who was um, basically he was talking about his zombie um, board game. Yeah, man. Yeah. He he's basically put out a zombie episode, yeah, zombie props. themed episode, and he gave us props for it and said thanks to the lads at NASA for yeah. um, the idea. And More than welcome. Yeah, man. Always good to share um, yeah. IP. Yeah, if you like. Um, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, we, we, no we love it. All. No issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, actually, yeah. it's love on it, my man. list. I still need to listen to it, so I will get on that. Yes. Um, so yeah, they're the shout outs. Um, mm. Like I say, if you want to help us out and you um, you like what we do over here at uh, Never a Straight Answer, you can get over to the website. Yeah. And there's a couple of options to donate to the show. You can donate yeah. via um, uh, PayPal. You can. Which is yeah. just a one-time deal because yeah. I know some people don't like the idea of Patreon or just don't know what they're doing yeah. on it. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. it's um, easier just to do it that way. Yeah. Um, or you can become a Patreon. Yeah. And do um, get a bit of bonus content, yeah, extra competition, sort of stuff. Yeah. It's all good. Grow it. Um, you, like I say, get over to neverastraightanswer.co.uk, yeah. um, which is our new swanky website where you can pretty much do everything from download new epi- new episodes, um, watch YouTube videos. Case files we've got, we've got on got there. all the, the case files we've been talking about yeah. this week and all, the other Also, weeks. basically, we'll be putting up um, stuff that interests us. Um, yeah. And we're, we're kind of going to be developing that a bit more in the future. So yeah. keep, keep tuned and keep coming to the site. You can yeah. actually join... And become a site member. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And have a profile of your own on the site. Yeah. Um, means you can comment. And um, there's even going to be reward badges that you can get. Oh, that'd be brilliant. For, for being like an active member on the site as well. So oh, that's sweet. pretty cool. Yeah. Man. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much it for the show. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Because I think someone's listening to us. Uh, is it the NSA again? It possibly could be. But it could just be one of you guys. Yeah, but, we hope you are. Well, thank you for listening Enjoy. anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. we love you. Um, we'll catch we you do. next time on Never a Straight yeah. Answer. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Peace out. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.